In this question, you are asked to draw the curve y is equal to x into mod of sin x. So here you are asked to multiply two functions. x and sin x have to be multiplied. So let us look at how we multiply the graphs of two functions. So to multiply the graphs, first you need to draw the original graphs. So what is the graph of y is equal to x? Say a line inclined at 45 degrees with x-axis. So this is the graph y is equal to x. And what is the graph of y is equal to mod sin x? So you can, you know the graph of y is equal to sin x. You know the graph of y is equal to sin x. So we have already seen what happens if you put y is equal to mod f of x. The curve that is below x-axis will get flipped to above x-axis. So mod sin x looks something like this. This graph remains same. So this graph gets flipped. This graph, this graph, this graph, so on. So 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, minus pi, minus 2 pi, so on. So this is how the graph of y is equal to mod sin x looks like. Now you need to multiply these two graphs. So there is no standard process to multiply two graphs. You just need to find some sample points and connect them using a smooth curve. So if you take the multiplication of these two, you are asked to draw the curve between minus 2 pi and plus 2 pi. Minus 2 pi minus pi, 0, pi and 2 pi. So now let us start from 0. At x is equal to 0, y is equal to x is equal to 0 and sin x is equal to 0. Both these graphs y values are zeros. At x is equal to pi, this value at x is equal to pi, sin pi is 0. So pi into 0 is 0. 2 pi also sin 2 pi is 0 hence the function is 0 and the function is 0, function is 0. Set all these 5 points, the value of x mod sin x is 0. Now let us try to analyze the signs of these functions. Mod sin x is always positive. Sin x is also positive on the positive side of x-axis. So on this side, the curve will be above x-axis. Here, mod sin x is positive, but x is negative. So multiplication of these two. So in this part, the curve lies below x-axis. In this part, the curve lies above x-axis. Next, we know that it has to be 0 at 0 and pi. What is happening in between? So just look at this. As x is moving in between 0 and pi by 2, the value of sin x is increasing. The value of x is also increasing. So the value of x into sin x increases, right? Increases. And as you go from pi by 2 to pi, sin x is decreasing, but y is equal to x is still increasing. So now if you have a fight between these two. One function is trying to increase the value, the other function is trying to decrease the value. And what happens? Will the value increase or decrease? It doesn't really matter. If you want the approximate graphs, it doesn't really matter. So we know that it is coming back to pi. So if it, if it continues to increase, it will never go back to zero. So it has to decrease, right? So it comes back here, right? The difference is the maxima need not be at pi by two. Maxima need not be at pi by two. So if you want to find the exact value of maxima, you have to differentiate this and see where this is maximum. And then between pi and 2 pi, the values of sin x are same as the previous values, but the values of x are more, the value of x is more. So this time the, in comparison to these values, you have bigger values, but it has to come back to 2 pi. So it increases now and then decreases. So on this side, x is negative, but the values of x and mod sin x are roughly same. So here also you get 
this graph or one more way to analyze this is so if you put minus x in the place of x and minus y in the place of y graph becomes minus y is equal to minus x mod of sine of minus x what is sine of minus x minus sine x mod of minus sine x is same as sine x so this minus and this minus gets cancelled so this function is same as this function hence the graph is symmetric about origin or symmetric in the opposite quadrants so this graph repeats on the other side of x axis so this is how the graph of x into mod sin x looks like. so you just need to analyze some particular values of x